Welcome to our second episode of what we all need to know. You all know what this series is about. Like students are asking the questions to the particular subject teachers and the teachers are addressing their doubts in our episodes. So today we are honored to have on our show Hasunawa Imira Rajasuna. She is the senior teacher in our histology department. Welcome to our podcast ma'am. Mm-hmm. Hi. So let's start with our questions. Like first question is about questions about lectures. Why it is necessary, ma'am? Uh, all the students should uh, attend to the lectures because mm-hmm. students uh, learn in Russia, mm-hmm. and we have some features of Russian histology. And during these lectures, can give you some features of Russian histology. Because uh, when you are studying and uh, learning only abroad textbooks, this textbook has another classification. That's why if you learn in Russia and if you take an exam in Russia, you should know Russian classification of tissues, uh, of cells, etc. Then about second question, uh, many of the students ask that what, why the we have to create the album, histology album? Why it is necessary? It's necessary. You shouldn't be artist. You should be histologist. When the student draws the slides, the students can memorize the structure of the cell, the layers, and whole uh, view of this slide. For example, I have a visual memory and I need to write something, to draw something for memorizing. And um, I recommend the students, when the students draw the slide, each slide has a unique feature. And you can mark this feature and write below the diagram. Next question. Like, uh, what rules and regulations should students follow when entering to the histology department? First of all, students should take jackets off and keep in cloakroom. Then students should take shoes off and put on uh, second shoes. You students should change street shoes into in-building shoes. And students should put on medical coats. And students should be neat and nice with medical white coat. Coming to the next question, how should students view the slides under microscope properly? Mm-hmm. So, when you are looking at the slide, you should set and small bar should be at the, on the top. Like this. Then you should switch on and then increase the brightness. Okay. You can use for magnification, but always you should, you should start with magnification for Okay, ma'am. For this, you should lift the mechanical stage. Okay. And then you should look here hmm. and make a focus. Should I show you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Yeah. This is this. This is, yes. Oh. And then you can move and look all the places. Mm. Then you should change magnification. Okay. Again, you should make a focus, find a focus, and you can move and look at the same time. And for the highest magnification, you can use magnification 40, make a focus, and move. And for this magnification, you need a special point. Okay. So the main rule is the lower magnification you use, the more distance should be between objective and your slide. Okay. And the highest magnification you use, that close, that uh, slide should be close to this object. Okay. And when you are looking, you should always move and go. Move and go. From the top to bottom, from left hand side to right. And after using this, you should turn back to the magnification, mm-hmm. uh, take slide, decrease the light, yes. 
reach for and work out. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, ma'am. Let me know now how to study micro in the microscope properly. <clears throat> to coming toward the next question, what are the most important topics about histology? Means student should definitely know about it. Mm-hmm. Start with cytology. because cytology is a base of histology when students learn structure of the cell when students know uh, about plasmolemma uh, cytoplasm the nucleus and cell organelles it can help student uh, know about function for example if the cell has Uh, a rough endoplasmic reticulum and the golgi complex and mitochondria the function of this cell will be protein synthesis but if the cell has smooth endoplasmic reticulum this cell can produce lipids and hormones it's so important cytology uh and uh, the next question which are most like most of the student asked about the order here why it is necessary means they have, will have any advantage about the olympiad yes of course students who have an average mark or rating 5, uh, 4.0 and more and higher can participate because uh, the question of olympiad will be sometimes deep sometimes um, very interesting and students should use all the knowledge of histology and when these students prepare for this olympiad they can revise previous topics and it help it helps uh, for preparing for the exam but for example russian students always enjoy participating in this olympiad but foreign students especially indian students always ask me if we uh, can get after math when we are participating in olympiad guys you shouldn't ask me you should enjoy enjoy so ma'am like uh, now there is an exam of our uh, second year students in january so they are asking about like uh, what is the pattern of the exam or what answer should they will give to the examiner so that they will be satisfied so for preparing the exam uh, students have questions there are three groups one group is taken from cytology second group questions are taken from histology and third one is taken from embryology a student should uh, prepare one by one start with cytology and complete embryology because uh, each examination card has three questions cytology histology embryology and one task and when you are answering uh, examiner you should start for example with common structure and then you should uh, go deep if the examiner ask you and uh, like uh, the topics means uh, if they are starting the preparation like you tell to start with cytology cytology yes. so ma'am like uh, some uh, students are preparing their questions topic wise mm-hmm. means from start from first year and some are preparing according to the questions mm-hmm. so so when i was a student i also prepared for exam uh, in according to questions because as our questions go one by one start cytology cytology then types of tissues etc you should uh, use the question for prepare then coming to the well, main part of the video like uh, we have one video in our youtube channel where we ask our students to ask their doubts so there are some uh, questions from it like uh, our one student asked about fmg exam means which are conducted in india what do you will recommend it uh, for the exam mm-hmm. i know indian students who graduate from our university 
go to India for exam, special exam. And uh, when I am teaching students, I always give some information of Russian scientists and I pay attention to abroad textbooks because we have sometimes uh, different uh, structures, different um, different information. For example, in according to Russian classification, some mucosa is a loose connective tissue, but in according to a broad classification, the, submuc the submucosa is dense irregular connective tissue. And for uh, passing our exam, students should tell Russian classification. For passing a broad exam, students should tell a broad classification. And our teachers uh, give both Russian and abroad features, classification, etc. It will help means most yes. of the students for SMG. So ma'am, like uh, another question is from Olympia. Like uh, they are asking, is there any, any special material for Olympia? Or the same for example? Uh, I am responsible for the Olympiad for Russian students and for foreign students and I've created on Telegram some channel mm -hmm. and I gave uh, a gid digital textbooks for pre preparing for Olympiad. For example, I like one textbook, Histology and Say Biology. This textbook is maybe difficult but has deep and significant information for the students. And I recommend use any books because uh, the questions will be sometimes difficult. But if you have previous knowledge of previous semester and this semester, you can answer without any problem. Yes. And uh, should uh, like one student ask, should we have to observe every layer in the slides in exam? Okay. We have to answer each and every particular part of the slide in the exam. So uh, I recommend when the students are looking at the slides, mm -hmm. these students should look all the slide. They should move ahead, back, left hand side, right, right hand side. And these students should use all magnification. For example, my microscope has four magnification and students should look at under microscope at all under all magnification and should uh, look at the slides from the top to the bottom and find all the designations, not only one place, because sometimes students sit at some place and guessing what is it. It's wrong. And come to the last part of our video. Like, what are your message to our all students, means our future parents? <clears throat> Dear students, now you have so beautiful, so wonderful time. Enjoy your time because when you become doctors, fathers and mothers, you don't have enough time. Enjoy your life. Thank you so much ma'am for being our part of our beautiful podcast and thank you for coming in our video. I am pleasant.